Oh. So the very first thing I, I remember was like, how are they going to do this? Well, I've got three words for you. Blood, sweat and tears. You know, what you put in is what you get out. So, I mean, we put in, everyone in this team put in blood, sweat and tears. Literally. And that's what you're going to see in the film as well. I love the crew. I love the team. I have never seen so many people that are so capable and so work so hard, but everybody is also creative and artistically involved. The collaborative sort of feeling that I had, the, the sense of a family that was, um, that was involved in this um, film. I think people should back this film because one, you know, a lot of great people put a lot of hard work into this film. It is the most beautiful um, production. I mean, I know nothing about the technical side of filmmaking. All I know is this is up there with anything I have ever seen, uh, production value-wise. And the story... It is sending a very important message, um, speaking to issues such as loss of innocence, basic human instincts. That innocence, it is all the same in me and you and everybody else. Because this is a human story, as Liam always said, you know, it's a, it's a story about human, it's a story about emotions. It's not a story about, you know, who's right or who's wrong. There's a lot to it. There's a lot that's important that's relevant to us today in our society. And that's, that's universal to everyone, you know, it's not just, you know, just for an Australian audience or, you know, just for a Western audience. It's very much a, a human film. I think the main concern would be as to how it affects an individual when an act of terrorism takes place and how we're growing the next generation to actually live in a world which has terrorism in it and how we actually build them up as a total human being um, to counteract it. You should back this film because... When I read the full script, I loved it. I sat down and I read the whole thing in one go. And, you know, you just get wrapped up in it. And, you know, by the final act, I just, it was, I just kept on turning the pages. It was like 12 o'clock at night and you know, I couldn't stop. And, yeah, it, I got really wrapped up in these characters' stories, but then afterwards, when I started to think about it afterwards, I saw that there's so much to the film. I remember I had something wrong with my leg and I remember lying or sitting on a couch at home. I had it on my iPad and I read that in, what, an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was. And by the end of it, the tears were pouring down my cheek. It was so moving, so beautifully written. I was just so excited to be a part of it. And it really deserves to, to be told. Like, it really, it's giving you a lot of questions, maybe more than answers, but sometimes um, the question is the way to understand what is really happening around us. This is, this is a story based on true events, and, and I think people in this world need to hear this story. Obviously, it's a very sensitive thing to Indians, um, and I hope that we've done justice to that, and, um, and out of respect to the victims, who were involved. Um, I would hope that they both enjoy it, but also take away that feeling that, um, uh, that the story itself was respected. Independent cinema are the people who want to put a message across, message which, which is concerned to each one of us. We need to connect with people. We need to um, not just show a mirror to what's going on, not just retell. We need to let go of all those feelings of enmity and superiority, my religion, your religion, and you know, be one. We are one big family. We we'll hope you like the video and you'll support our film. Then it'll be your film too.